I'm Annabelle Carmel and welcome to Morrison's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be making a potato and squash snowman and it's a fun recipe to make with children. I'm using fresh vegetables from Morrison's and I've got Callum along here to help me. We're going to start by cooking the potatoes and we're going to use a microwave for that because it's quick and easy. So I've got my washed potatoes here and I'm going to prick them with a fork. Why are you pricking them with a fork? Well, that helps stop them from bursting when you cook them. And I'm going to cook these for 10 to 12 minutes in the microwave or you could cook them in an oven. Now we're going to cut a thin slice off the bases of the potatoes and then we're going to scoop out the flesh but we're going to be careful to leave enough around the sides so that it doesn't lose its shape. We're going to pop that in the bowl. Yeah, great. So now I'm going to cook the butternut squash. I'm going to put it in boiling water and cook it for eight to 10 minutes, or you could steam it. So Callum's going to help me mash the potato together with this cooked butternut squash, which I'll pop in there. Oh, and now that's all lovely and mashed, I'm going to add half of the cheese, get that in there, and you can mash that in. So it should mash in quite well because it's quite warm, so the cheese will melt. And now I'm just going to add a little bit of seasoning, and you can mash that in as well. And that's ready now to stuff your potato. We're going to stuff the potatoes with the potato and squash mixture. I'm going to put the large potato on a plate. And Callum, can you put your potato on top to make the head? And now we can decorate it. And now I'm going to attach a piece of carrot using a cocktail stick to make the hat. And then I'm going to put a dab of cream cheese onto a small piece of carrot. And Callum's going to put the nose on. And then for the eyes, I've got peas and I'm going to use those for buttons as well. And I've got a strip of red pepper for the mouth. And I'm going to wrap round him a piece of carrot which is cut with a vegetable peeler for his scarf. How cute! And now all we need is some snow. So here's a fun way to jazz up a baked potato for Christmas.